Hello, this is Dr. Samir Lutfi Ali, Managing Director of Management and Development Center. We will present you a series of business process engineering for supply chain management and ERP implementation, and we will start with plan to produce cycle. We will uh, show you a short demos for SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft Dynamics. Let's see the plan to produce cycle. It consists of columns and rows. Columns represents the main functions and stakeholders that participate in plan to produce cycle, such as top management, sales and marketing, planning, factories and the production lines, procurement and finance. Rows represent the main functions that constitute the plan to produce cycle. We have annual demand planning to be run the last quarter of the current year. Annual sales and operation planning to be run the same time. Monthly planning, sales and operation planning, master production schedule, and MRP to be run the last week in the current months. Weekly planning for master production schedule, MRP, and production orders to be run the last day in the current, year, uh, current uh, uh, week. And then we have a daily production activity pro uh, control, then execution and order closing in annual demand planning. Sales and marketing will set their marketing plan, annual plan, according to the strategic directions of the top management, either for local sales, exports, new market, new products, events, phasing out products, canceled products. In this stage, the company should have its planning strategy, either make to stock or push, make to order, pull, or make to stock, make to order, plan, push, execute, pull. On the other hand, planning will, will start to have a long-term sales forecast. It's either top-down or bottom-up forecast. Top-down means that forecast for groups of products and break down them into its products according to certain ratios. Bottom-up forecast means that forecast will be uh, on the level of products and then aggregated all these products in families. So we have to define current sales trends, seasonality, and volatility. And for the sake of uh, evaluation, we have to know the previous forecast error and bias. In statistical forecast, there are so many methods for forecasting. So we have to select between these methods based on mean absolute deviation, mean absolute percentage error, and tracking signal. If you have an ERP system, the ERP can automatically select the best forecast method according to these measures. Then there will be a meeting for demand consensus between all stakeholders, including top management. It has to be taken into consideration the running contracts, long-term export, backlogs, whether it will be reduced from the forecast or to be added for. In this session, quantity, price, revenue, and the profit will be discussed through the information feedback from the financial department. The top management will review demand against targets to be approved, approved finally by all stakeholders. We will go through different statistical forecasting in ERP software. In SAP, we find different uh, forecasting strategy, constant model, trend model, seasonal model, and automatic model selection. We have also tracking signal, and even we have an APO, phase out, and phase in forecast. In Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud, we have different uh, forecast methods with automatic selection, including seasonality, including uh, error calculations, and even we have a new product forecast. In Microsoft Dynamics, we have so many sophisticated forecasting techniques, 
just like ARIMA, ETS, STL, and so on. And all these methods will be automatically selected according to for, uh, forecast error and according to tracking signal. In order to have simple forecasting technique without automatic selection.